Hi guys and welcome back to part 3 of my building port light box frames video. So in this next section I'll take you through the fabrication of the port light frame itself uh, including installation of the seal rings and creating a drain lip along the bottom edge of the frame. And once I've got the seal plate fully welded in uh, the next thing I need to do is cut through the steel tabs that are remaining um, and what I'll do, that'll do is when I take the excess play away it'll leave the seal ring in place inside the frame as you can see here. So what I use to cut the outline of the seal rings from a piece of plate is, uh, is my small handy plasma cutter um, and one of the products of using the plasma cutter is you do get a bit of dross left on the outer edge after you've cut um, but that's easily cleaned up I just use a hammer to chip it away and clean it off um, and as you can see here it does quite a nice job plasma cutters don't leave too much rubbish or too much dross um, and they're very quick and simple to clean up after once I've given the frame a bit of a tidy up with the grinder um, I then just flip it over onto its back um, and what I do then is check the fit of the port light. What I want to make sure of is that the, the seal rings are relatively flat and I, I can do this by rocking the port light from corner to corner and if there is any movement in the port light that will show that the seal ring is not completely flat. You can see here that um, there is a bit of movement in that port light which indicates um, there's probably some distortion in the ring itself from where it's been welded. Uh, that's not too big, big a problem. What I can do is uh, I can use a hammer just to gently tap the corners and take any high spots out. Uh, put the port light back in and just keep checking it until I get it quite flat. Now a one to one and a half mil variation is not going to be a problem uh, and I'd be quite happy with that. And the other thing to bear in mind too is that once the, the bed of sealant is put around the, the ceiling face of the port light and a bead around the outside of the frame itself that, that small variation in depth is going to make no difference I'll still get a good seal nice and watertight. The box frames actually have two rings an outer and an inner ring for the port light to fix against um, and what I was doing here is just marking the inner line to put the second ring in place I won't actually go right through this entire process in this video because it's the same as fitting the first ring pretty much. The only difference is I cut the excess plate out on the bench and attach the ring individually as opposed to putting it in place first and cutting the excess plate out after. Um, no need to do that because the outer frame of the port light box is already uh, assembled. As you can see here, I've already built some of these uh, frames previously and what I wanted to do was to make sure that the drain lip on each of them was the same width uh, and at the same angle so they looked neat and they looked like a set. Um, so I used uh, existing ones that I've made previously as a kind of template to mark off against and also to check the angle of the lip is correct. And creating the drain lip was pretty straightforward. All I did was uh, cut two small slots, one at each end of the lip, and then I just simply bent the lip down using uh, a tool that I, I cut from a piece of flat bar. A demonstration of that will be uh, in the next video, the, the fourth and final video of this series, and you'll see how I bend that lip down and keep it straight and, uh, and tie it up when it's done. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Uh, there's one more video, number four, to complete this series. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope also that you got something useful out of it. If you did, please tell your friends about our channel and, and remember to subscribe. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.